So I'm interested in work and how work changes and, and how we can try and make work fair and equitable. And so in the gig space, it's about how technology is changing work. And then in the climate space, it's about how climate policy and responses to climate change are changing work. The term the gig economy comes actually from the music industry. It's become increasingly popular because of new forms of work like ride sharing or food delivery. And so we wanted to just find out who was doing it, why they were doing it, the terms and conditions of their work. So some of the things we've recommended are giving them access to our regulatory bodies, ensuring minimum wage conditions are met, improving occupational health and safety. I think there's growing pressure that something has to be done and we've seen the platforms actually sign up to some voluntary codes of practice, but the best outcome I think comes to actual regulation and policy shift. It's convenient as a consumer that this industry exists, but with convenience at the moment is coming some inequality and costs and so I think people need to think about, well, how can we make the, the new gig economy a fairer economy? We know that if we want to meet the Paris climate targets, the world needs to fundamentally change how it engages with carbon emissions and producing carbon emissions. And so how do you transition that community and that workforce so that there's work opportunities there and they aren't left behind? And so I've been working with the Australian Manufacturing Workers Union, as well as talking to the state government who has a, a policy around just transition. The majority of work is working in somewhere like the coal plants in Collie and in the mining industry. It's well paid, skilled work. If you want to support those communities, you need to create skilled, high paid jobs. Without government intervention, it just won't happen. I mean, we've seen a huge growth in renewable energy types of work. We haven't developed to date a strong manufacturing industry in that space, but there is and WA is particularly well placed. We have uh, a lot of rare earth minerals. We have obviously a really strong mining industry. And now we're starting to see some processing of those types of products. When we think about climate change, we often think about it as sort of an environmental issue, but we don't think about the sort of economic transformation that has to go alongside it and what that means for workers, industries and communities. And so if we want to transition to a green economy, we need to also think about what are the implications for, for workers and communities impacted.